Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Vatib and in this video, I am going to show you how to upload the bulk lead list, create custom fields, custom folders, and have all URLs clickable inside all those custom links. And this is going to happen in across all the sub accounts at the same time. If you watch this video till the end, I'm 100% sure it's going to save you a lot of time in the future. I have also created a SOP with custom JavaScript that I will be sharing with you in the link down below. So let's get started. First of all, we have here is the lead list and that I have already downloaded uh, in my system. Either you can go here and download this. So here, here are the values, business name, phone number, website, and other few things that are important for me. If there are different things that are important for you, you can have that 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 values in here if if you have a question where i got this list from i, I just grabbed this from google maps and i have another vid video where i went in detail how you can do that so what we you can do here is that go to file downloads and download as csv so here the our fi file is you can download and then from there we have the file in our system now the only thing is that we need to upload this file into go high level and to upload this file we're gonna come here go to contacts now in contacts we can take bulk action we can do bulk actions i am going to import contacts to import contacts i'm gonna click here file upload and here is our file so i am going to go click next so some of the values that already exist as you can see we are going to map these values these are the values that are from google sheets and these are some of the values that context fields already exist inside go high level if few of these values that does not exist what we are going to do is that we are going to do custom fields inside ghl to do custom fields we are going to open click here and duplicate so here is the i'm going to share this one so if we hit to click duplicate we are easily duplicate any file we don't have to open it from the get go so here we are going to go to settings and custom fields and here are the folders so these are the folders that already exist in ghl but if there's any custom folders these are sorry i mean these are the three folders that already exist and this one i have created this is a custom folder but if there's any folder that does not exist, we can create that folders. And then there's our object. What type of object is it? Is it a contact or opportunity that I am going to explain as well? So now we are going to add a new folder that is for tattoo shop. So I'm going to name it tattoo shop and the select object. So where this folder is going to exist, is it going to exist inside contacts or is it going to exist inside opportunities we want this to exist inside contact so i am going to hit save <clears throat> so as you knew if we come here these are the three custom fields does not exist so what we are going to do is that we are going to create these custom fields inside ghl review count i'm going to come back here open this folder go to field single line and review count is a number so we can say number and custom type is sorry object type is contact this one's done another value we have is average rating same thing single line here is contact type is object again not an opportunity this one's done as well and Third one is GMB, Google My Business URL. Same thing we're gonna do. Add. Now these fields exist. These fields did not exist earlier. Now we added these custom fields inside Go High Level because we wanted to map these values. So what I am going to do is that I'm gonna I'm gonna just give me a second. I'm gonna hit cancel and try to upload this again. Let's see if it's coming up. Otherwise, we have to refresh. 
so as you can see it mapped automatically what we are going to do is that hit next and then you can give it a custom name as well i am going to say tattoo shop um let's say uh Vic. anything you want to remember with the name you can give it here it does not matter we are most of the time we are not going to use this one but here is the most important thing that you need to keep in mind that tags are very important so because when we later on going to add this one into the workflow we are going to use that tags um over here so because um, we can easily easy, easily um, manage if we have the tag sorted in our system so i'm going to name it tattoo uh let's say 21 tattoo 21 this is our tag so you can have any tag whatever you want and i'm going to hit submit so and also i need to hit here confirm and then submit so here it is our file is gonna be ready it is completed and we have already our value here in the bulk action so here it is we have already done uploaded our tattoo shop list in go high level now so the next thing we are going to do is that we are going to add this these lists we are going to add into the pipeline remember i talk about we we need to add uh, tags so why the tags are important right now imagine if you had number of different contacts in the system uh, but you don't know which one are which one so with tags we can sort that which ones are which so let's say if you wanted to now only only choose those those ones that you recently uploaded with that and you can sort them with the tags so it was tattoo tattoo 21 so here it is i'm going to hit apply and now this is why it's important that we need to upload and have sort them out with tags right now why i'm choosing is that i want to add them into a pipeline but our there is no pipeline that exists in the system so i have to add a new pipeline let's go ahead and add a new pipeline come here to do to add a pipeline we are gonna go to opportunities pipeline hit pipeline and then we are going to hit a pipeline i'm gonna say tattoo shop the first name i'm going to say is that lead let's say you're gonna call them call one call two and then is is meeting booked or busy anything i mean whatever is your sale process you can do that and then maybe uh uh, meeting probe busy and then payment made payment made so right now if you don't want this to show up into a visual funnel you can unselect this one for example like this but for now i'm not doing anything i'm just keeping as, as it is and i'm saving so once it's saved what i'm going to do is that i'm gonna go to go back to contacts and then i'm gonna again choose that tag I'm gonna sort that out with the shirt tag as you know it was tattoo 21 tattoo 21 here it is and then i'm gonna apply this tag i'm gonna select all these leads and then add them into the pipeline we just created so i'm gonna come here i'm gonna say tattoo go down it's a tattoo shop that's the pipeline and then what stage i want them in i want into lead stage so here you can write an opportunity source for example right now our opportunity source is google map because we scrapped these leads from the google map so i can say that action is just you can say um uh tattoo shop leads from google map so once you are done with that everything is good you can just say hit and add opportunities so what it's going to do is that it's going to add these leads into the pipeline as an opportunity where we can go back into opportunities select that pipeline which was tattoo shop and as you can see all these opportunities are here so when we open this one right now click here we are going to we are going to open a contact 
So as, as you know, before I talked about a contact object type, is, a, is it a contact or opportunity type? So if we click here and open in a new tab, this is a contact type. So all these things, all these, all these folders that we created is showing up here. But if it was an opportunity type, let me come back here. I just need to click here. And this is the opportunity type. If, if I would have selected opportunity type, it would appear here. But for now, I wanted it to be appear object as a contact object. So here it is. So right now, if we come here further down in the tattoo shop folder, as you can see, this is not a clickable link. To make it a clickable link, for all these sub accounts we can we just need to do one change in agency level and then it's going to appear ac across all the accounts so what we are going to do is that we are going to go switch to agency view and then come to settings company and then further down in custom javascript so I have already made a S SOP that I talked about earlier. I will be sharing with you as well. I'm gonna come back here into the SOP that I have, and here is my script. I'm just gonna copy this script. This script is now copied. Here I ha also have our different scripts as well that you can share, uh, share or use them uh, if you need. So yeah, so I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go back into the agency view, custom JavaScript, add that script here and hit update company. You're gonna get this alert, but that's okay. Just hit proceed, let it update. When you hit proceed, and now again, we're gonna go back to that demo account. So if this is the account, this is the account, I'm just gonna hit open into a new tab again. And then now it should be a clickable link. So this, the new tab is getting refreshed. It should be a clickable link now. If we go back further down, there it is. So as you know, right now it's a clickable link. So regardless, if you are doing a cold each drop, cold reach out, or you are doing using any type of Tyler, this is going to help you a lot and save you a lot of time because you don't have to manually copy every time and then open into a new tab. You can just hit click here and then it's going to open this business into a new tab and it's going to save you a lot of time. So here is the here is the SOPs that I have made you can just follow this step by step and it should help you a lot and also it's going to save you a lot of time for now I would really appreciate if you can like and subscribe my channel and I will be sharing similar videos in the future thank you